so six months ago i made a video where i basically talk about you know why mobile gamers aren't technically gamers and that video has been getting a lot of attention and it has gone a crap ton of comments that i don't even know how to reply to because people are just arguing the comments and i just wanted to make this video want to melt that subject because i feel like it's a hot topic right now and i should probably talk about it and the reason why i haven't been uploading is because i haven't got any ideas for videos so i might as well just melt this video while i'm at it and no on a separate note i just want to you know give my opinions now that i've learned some stuff about the mobile gaming scene and just in general have improved you know my knowledge of how gaming works so you know i've been playing csgo or at least i used to play csgo for quite a bit during the summer of 2018 i believe yeah 2018 before my laptop broke and i haven't played since so during that time i realized that you no, know, most people assume mobile gamers aren't real gamers because mobile gamers quote unquote don't have to spend money to play games. Unlike you know PC gamers or console gamers, which you know have to pay for everything. You wanna get a game, you have to buy. It. You wanna buy a PC, you have to pay for it, and so on and so forth. That's that's why you know, mobile gamers aren't considered real gamers because everything is free, and you can only get skins. And well, yeah, that's a pretty valid argument. At the same time, it's like we're still playing the same games as you, just on a different platform. So that doesn't really change anything. And you know, I do understand that it's unfair to PC players, you know, who did have to pay for the game, you know, sixty dollars for AAA games like Call of Duty. But at the same time, we're getting a lower level of quality, and we're getting third-party developers and all that. So you getting mad over the fact that you no, know, we're playing games for free? That is. No, we still have a drawback based on that. It's not like you know we're playing console ports, you know, in 4K, 8K, depending on your phone, and absolutely smooth controls, and we are playing against you no know, console players and all that stuff. No, we're playing still crappy mobile games because you no, know, you no know, mobile gaming has been around for like what seven years barely, not even a full decade, and you no, know, with all that, like I don't even know what to say, but. I mean, at the same time, the thing with mobile gaming is the fact that it gives access to people who you know, normally couldn't afford to buy a full spec gaming PC or you know, get a $400 gaming console. It gives people who are in intense situations financially the ability to you know, enjoy video games. And at the end of the day, if you're playing video games and you know, the games that are actually real games are not you know, just Candy Crush or something, you know, you're considered a real gamer. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like... What's the difference if I'm playing CSGO on a phone? I mean, I guess you could call this CSGO. Or, you know, I'm playing CSGO on my PC, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, there's also the fact that mobile games are, you know, you know rip-offs and just ports. And so far, there hasn't been really anything original on mobile. Especially after that entire AF2 scandal, because at the end of the day, they are just a copy and paste of Rainbow Six Siege on mobile devices. And that's, you know, why mobile has been such a bad light lately. And that's why people just generally have a bad view on mobile gaming. Because all these developers are too lazy or, you know, just don't care enough. Because they know they're going to make money from microtransactions either way. They just know that they're going to make money. So who cares if, you know, they make a game based on the same concept or, you know, has the same mechanics or whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, they, they don't have to get copyright strike or... Unlike RF2, which was just a blank on copy, because Stand of 2, Kirk Ops, all these games, the only thing they have in common is the weapons they use, almost, and the fact that you know, they have the same search and destroy game mode, but that game mode has been featured in many other games, and you know, I think I've gotten sued. And that's why, and that's because Valve knows they don't own the game mode, and you know, it wasn't intended to be copyrighted and all that stuff, so it's really used to anybody who wants to use it. You no, know, people keep bringing up the fact that you no know, mobile games are just taking PC games and just ripping them off just to worse. And yes, that is true. Badlanders, Last Light, all those games are just they're just you no know, clones of Escape from Tarkov or AF2 is just a clone of Rainbow Six Siege, and that is very true. But at the end of the day, if you're having fun playing them and you can't exactly afford to get a full spec gaming PC, like I've said it before, and you no know, buy that thirty dollar, fifteen dollar, ten dollar video game. You know you're just gonna play it on your phone, except you know you have downsides because the lower, the worse graphic. The general demographic for mobile games are oh younger people around the ages of 10 to 14 16 around that age and i'm talking from my three years of experience playing pubg mobile and you no know, therefore other mobile games like snap 2 
people are usually younger in the mobile game scene compared to you know pc games because back when i used to play csgo in like my 200 hours of playing the game i've met a lot of people who are between the ages of 13 and 16 whereas with mobile games i you know they're meeting somebody that is more mature around the ages of 14 and 16 is pretty rare and i'm talking seriously it's pretty rare I mean, yes, there's different factors to account for, like regions and stuff, but my point still stands. You know, there are more children playing mobile games than there are older people and teenagers playing mobile games. So, of course, games have to be more simplified to allow for those kids, you know, to play them and not get frustrated. And because at the end of the day, you know, that's, that's the main demographic of the internet kids. I mean, you look at YouTube, the reason why they're so kid friendly and have so many rules nowadays is because, you know, kids and kids make money and they they really don't care what they watch and they bring a bunch of money and watch time to the platform so of course kids are going to be the main demographic and it's the same with mobile games i mean i'm not saying that mobile games and you no know, first person shooters are for little kids definitely don't hand your child an ipad and expect them to grow up and be all right but you know the main demographic for mobile games is definitely the younger people and of course they're going to be simplified games and yeah with all that being rambled, I'm sorry for missing a week of uploads. I just haven't gotten any ideas for commentary videos. And you no, know, I know that Apex has been released in the closed beta and stuff, and sadly haven't been able to get it. I was late to the downloads page, and yeah, all that stuff happened. So you won't be seeing Apex content from me until it releases. But yeah, with all that being rambled, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please don't hate on our people for whatever platform. Please don't hate on our people for whatever platform they play on. And you no, know, just I guess enjoy gaming because gaming is gaming no matter what you play on. I don't see people calling PSP or PSV players you no know, non gamers because they're playing video games on hel on a handheld console at you no know, basically the same expenses that we had and have you no know, currently worse graphics, microtransactions, all that stuff. But yeah, to all the people who are you know, saying mobile games aren't real gamers, either they're just trolling, putting it on as an act, I'm talking about Dr. Disrespect right now, or you know, they just they just don't have experience with what mobile gaming is like, because you know, there's still a market that is growing and is you know, half as valuable or even more valuable than uh, PC and console games combined and this market is just something where the developers get to you know enjoy themselves and have a bit of leisure room with what games they make and they don't have to you know, meet any expectations because any game is a really any new game is a new game after all and and some people are still gonna play it and you no know, that's why i think mobile gaming has a lot of potential especially for the indie developers and i'm not the only one who says that because indie developers are one of the reasons why mobile has been gone has gotten so much attention and has gotten so big but to a ton of that being rambled i'm going to head out now yet again i'm sorry for missing the entire week of uploads if you enjoyed this video please share it and you no know, if you enjoyed the content that i make i try to keep it regularly i say regularly even though i just missed the week of uploads anyway uh if you enjoy the content i make and i should deserve more subscribers then feel free to subscribe down below and like this video. Also, try to keep this a commentary channel, so feel free to leave your thoughts down below. So, you know, we have stuff to talk about because this is a discussion you know, channel, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.